In this video, we are going to discuss about creating subnets for class A addresses. So, here we can see the differences. So, class A addresses subnetting is done in the same form house class B and class C are done. And you can see the big difference here, the slash notation starts from slash 8 to slash 30, so that you will be having more number of host bits available. So, we will see an example. So, what the first example is? Here you have you have given this IP address with slash 9 as a host address. So, we have to subnet this IP address. So, converting slash 9 notation to dotted decimal format gives you 255.128.0.0. So, here the interesting octet is 128. So, detecting 128 from 256 gives you the 128 number so that the subnet addresses are 0 and 128. So, you can see clearly the network and broadcast addresses can be classified here as from 0, 0 and 0, 0 is the network address which gives you 10.0.0.0 and 10.128.0.0 are the network addresses and broadcast addresses are 10.127.255.255 and 10.255.255.255. So, these are the broadcast addresses and the network addresses. So, what are the host addresses ranges here? The host address range of subnets are, you can see it starts from 0.1 to 255.254 and 0.1 to 255.254. You can see it is 10.0.0.1 and 10.128.0.1. So, this is one example. So, you will be seeing another example which is in different scenario. So, here is the example. So, the different kind of a problem here exists when your network number is 21.0.0.0. So, here you need to, you have a requirement here that you need to see that you need 1000 subnets without exceeding 1000 in number and per subnet you, sh you should have minimum of 500 host per subnet. So, how you will perform the subnetting here? So, solution is you can see 21.0.0.0 is a class A network. So, the default mask is slash notation 8. So, you have 24 bits of host addresses available, so that you borrow it for the subnetting. So, you will see here, when you borrow and you have 20, 2010 gives you the 1024 host and 29 gives you 512 host per a subnet. So, here 1024 is exceeding 1000. So, we will not consider it. We consider 29 gives 512. So, we consider this and we convert the subnet mask and you can see here it, that that is the same mentioned here and you can see how they are converted or borrowed here. So, in this diagram you can see that it clearly that octex the default mask and the new mask is created or borrowed the network bits to for, perform the subnetting here. So, the first octet is same as the first octet, but in the second octet you can see they borrowed the 8 bit and in the third octet they borrowed the 9 the ninth bit also. So, here what happened for 8 plus 9 gives you 17 notation and we leave 15 bit for the host part. So, that you know that much more than required is 500. So, we need only 500 host so that we borrowed 9 bits and we added the notation and the notation is 17 in number. So, slash 17 notation is used here. So, here you can see that the same example given in a different scenario here you see this network 10.0.0.0 slash 8, but here the minimum requirement of hosts are 8000 and the minimum requirement of subnets are 2000. So, for each subnet you, you, you require 8000 host per subnet. So, how it is calculated? So, you can see here slash notation 8 is a class A address and default mask of slash 8. So, this leaves 24 bits of host addresses. So, here after that you have to borrow so, how it happened and how the multiples are considered here. So, multiples of 2 gives us the required numbers. You see 211 gives you 2048 while 213 gives you 8192. So, we need minimum of 8192. So, how the default and new mask is created here? You see the first octet is as it is the first octet, the second octet we have borrowed and also third octet the 3 bits we have borrowed. So, totally you see 8 plus 11, we get almost 19 here. So, the slash notation 19 will give you 2048 subnets and you give 8092 host. So, this is the actual scenario we use and we divide 
the subnets based on the scenario of submitting class A here. And you can see the example 4 also is mentioned, but here the slash notation is given as 12. The same scenario is used by converting dotted into dotted decimals and by detecting the interesting octet number from 256 gives you the subnets how they are classified. So, you can see the table clearly the network address is given, the broadcast address is given and here the host address ranges are also given here. So, you can see you can you can take a medium example here the address 10.12.10.50 slash 12 is a host address in the subnet mask 0, 0.0 slash 12 subnet and the network address and broadcast addresses are 208.0.0 and in the given broadcast address 10.223.255.255. So, this is how we have derived this table so that it is easy to easily we can understand what is a network address, what is a broadcast address and in what range of the host addresses are available. So, this is all about submitting the class A address and we have to consider how we borrow network bits from the other octets so that the, the subnetting can be very easily possible. So, because of the subnet the data or communication between the gateways is very easy.